Hey guys, welcome back to another one of our writing mini challenges. I'm Haley, your host, and I'm super excited because this week we are going to be focusing on your first chapter. So I just want to reiterate, if this is your first challenge with us, we are primarily focused on fiction. There will definitely be some snippets that you could take away if you are a nonfiction writer, but most of the tips and tricks that we're covering are usually pretty fiction focused. And then also, if this is your very first time joining us, um, welcome, first of all. Uh, but second, I'll just tell you a little bit about how this works. It's very simple. All of our challenges follow pretty much the same format of every single day of the challenge, which this is a five day one, you get a video from me to watch and and then you get a homework assignment to do. So with some of our bigger challenges, that means you get an entire workbook, but with the small ones like this, you're just gonna be printing these worksheets at home. So the link to download them is somewhere around this video. Go ahead and click it, get your worksheets downloaded, and then this is day zero, which means that we start as of tomorrow on day one. We are gonna be looking at everything to do with your first chapter, at least everything that I find the most relevant, um, which, I want to, before we jump into this actually, I do want to put like a small disclaimer on that um, whatever advice you ever get about first chapters, there will always be an exception to that rule. I promise. Whatever somebody tells you works or doesn't work, I really encourage you to think through it. And whoever it is who's telling you that, I hope that they tell you why, why it is this works or doesn't work so that you can really examine whether or not you agree. And I have kind of a funny story to share on this topic, which is that my very first book, which is right over here, Secrets of the Tally, um, when I was very first looking at getting it published, I entered it into a competition and my very first chapter started with my character waking up and like figuring out that she's got amnesia, she can't remember anything, there's monsters, like there's all these things going on. Um, but after I had entered it into the competition is when I heard for the very first time that you're actually not supposed to start your book with a character waking up. And I'd never heard that before. I, I didn't know that. And so I ended up, I was like, shoot, I, you know, we're always learning so I went back and I rewrote the entire chapter but it was already entered into the competition so it was too late for that and then I ended up getting a notification that my first chapter was a finalist in the competition and in one of the most competitive probably the most competitive category and I was like no way it starts with the character waking up I like I, I was shocked that it was a finalist at all and then there was an awards dinner and I was like oh there's there's really no reason to go it's not like it's gonna win but I ended up going just to see you know that's where they were gonna announce who the winner was and you guys my first chapter ended up winning the competition with the main character waking up and it was a competition that was read by agents and editors of you know real agencies and publishing houses so the people whose opinion mattered the most actually loved that it started out with the character waking up which by that point I'd actually completely rewritten it and uh, by the time I ended up signing with my agent which happened shortly after that conference I had a completely different beginning to send them but what I learned from this story is that I just took that advice without ever really questioning it. Somebody just said, oh, don't start with your main character waking up. Um, but actually, there are plenty of ways that you could do that well, and I apparently had one of them. <laughs> and so um, I just want to say that with all of this advice that I give you guys over the next five days, I really want you to examine the tips and tricks that I'm giving you guys and really take a look at if they fit in your work or if maybe you think your work is an exception to the rule that I'm putting out, because I promise there are plenty of them, but you have to have a one. You have to say, okay, you told me not to do this, but I actually think it works because. And now in hindsight, um, what I think the context around the advice that was given to me about not starting with a character waking up, uh, at least as far as I can figure, is what I really think people mean to say when they give that advice is don't... <laughs> Don't start with your character waking up and performing their bathroom routine. That one I can get behind uh, because I barely want to do my own hair in the morning. I don't want to watch another character do theirs. That's the boring stuff. Whereas we really, really want to get to the story. So the moral behind all of this is that as we go through this five day first chapter challenge, I'm gonna give you pieces of advice, but I always am going to try to explain to you why. Why it is this works, why it is this doesn't work. And then as you work through the worksheets that you have downloaded somewhere around this video, you should be able to improve upon the first chapter that you already have written, or if you don't have one written yet, this is gonna be a really good guideline for establishing what you want in a first chapter. We're gonna be looking at a lot of different aspects over the next five days of what I consider to be the most important five things in your opening chapter. So thank 
thank you so much for joining us and make sure that you downloaded the worksheets. Although I implore you, please don't work ahead. Please take this one day at a time, the way that it's being released to you, because that is the way that you get the most value out of these challenges is when you take an entire day to focus on the specific topic at hand. And then the next day we start thinking about the next one. This gives your ideas time to percolate and really come to full fruition instead of just jumping in and watching all five videos in a row and then trying to bust out all the homework in one day. It works a lot better if you space it out over the five days that we've allotted. And then the last thing to know is that with these worksheets, if you need a couple more, if they are not sufficient, you can always print more off. That is the benefit to you guys being able to print them at home. I highly recommend getting yourself a binder, putting the title of your book on it, and if you like this challenge, you can always go and take some of our other mini challenges or our major challenge, which is the 60-day novel writing challenge. That is all about writing the entire book. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you guys haven't already, and then I will see you tomorrow for day one of the five-day first chapter challenge.